Welcome to the Donbass Front. Much like the current day, this is a front that got heavy use. You're going to see a lot of offensives with Tiger tanks here. Um, a lot of infantry assaults because we are going to be trying to breach the Donbass line. If we fail to do so, it's of course going to be absolutely detrimental. So I hope you guys will enjoy this battle. Provide your likes, comments, and um, subscribe if you haven't already. See you on the next one. So we have to keep in mind, guys, here in the Donbass, we're just breaching the first Soviet defensive line. And despite, you know, 1942, 1941, now the Soviets have gotten pretty good um, at what the Russians to this day do best, and that is taking an area and defending it. However, we have spotted the first area, uh, and so I'm approaching with caution here with these SDKFZs. I've actually dismounted the men from the vehicles as well, uh, and we're going to focus on what I believe to be a Soviet trench line. Uh, in fact, it looks like our tanks over here, um, Tremel, he needs to approach a little bit closer and open fire. And this SDKFZ, um, going to make sure, yep, we've already gotten the men out. And we're simply going to advance right there. I am micromanaging a bit. I'm also starting to see some Soviets along the tree line. Guys, we've got activity all over the place. Uh, so let's just keep Ludwitz here. It's actually perfect. He's already getting really good shots. But this is just the first Soviet line. We're going to get a closer look there at that trench. Oh, boy. Yep, I would say that we have taken out the infantry in it, or at least heavily um, peppered them with shot. They're all taking cover or hit. That's perfect. I would expect there to be an anti-tank gun nearby. But one of the interesting things is in this battle, the rain is actually helping us um, because visibility is low. Also, our artillery is working over time. Still plenty of Soviets alive in there, so we have to make sure we select that target. Come on, buddy. Well, yeah. nice. Oh, man, those shots are all on target. Artillery, tanks, absolutely perfect. And this is all about weakening this spearhead. Man, that SDKFC is doing so damn well on his own. Um, of course, he's got a lot of artillery support, but I can see why it's such a, re a reliable vehicle. We could, of course, use it to try and flank the enemy if we wanted to. Um, I think what I will do is grab this SDKFC, and we're going to advance directly on that enemy trench line. I always thought they would be pretty weak against a trench line, but it looks like as long as you can keep the enemy suppressed, you're good. Um, and I want to make it straight for those woods with the infantry, so we're going to do an assault. Um, this is just with uh, Beck's unit the infantry unit here. And it looks like they're already engaging that tree line. Plenty of Soviets to be had. This, of course, was one of the final offensives where the Germans had enough manpower, um, personnel, resources to launch an armored um, spearhead and uh, that's exactly what we're doing in this battle. This is an armored spearhead with infantry support, but an armored spearhead nonetheless. Man, those trenches, they are tough to get shots on. I think we took out another one over there. They're almost all dead there, but there's certainly going to be additional trenches here on this first defensive line. I don't like that Metz is the first unit. It's our command unit. So I'm actually going to hold Metz right... Actually... He's doing okay just kind of holding by himself. But we'll just keep him right there. I want to get some support to Metz as soon as possible. So let's send this guy through. I'm seeing some additional Soviets back there, potentially officers. Uh, Taya, I'd also like to send him over there as well. Okay, infantry here in the tree line is spotting some more Soviets over there. 
I'm really not concerned until I see tanks. In fact, we haven't done anything with this line. Um, we're gonna grab them and we are gonna just do a full-on advance. It's called an armored spearhead for a reason, folks, so there we go. Uh, with Pista, he's the only guy I'm actually gonna send up the road. Right, there we go. Our boys are on the case. Actually, he, this guy just threw some smoke. Should uh, provide some additional cover. Well, that's... Let me know in the comments if you enjoy me, if you enjoy when I focus exclusively on the tanks, the entire battle, or on the infantry. Like, you know, what I'm doing in this video is I'm trying to kind of give a perspective of each group. Uh, but let me know if you guys enjoy that. And there we go, they're making it to the tree line, man. Pretty decent cover, too. Looks like a few of our men are already in the tree line. And sure enough, looks like what should be another Soviet trench. That's exactly what it is. And as soon as we began the offensive over here with our tanks, we spotted it. Uh, let's just make sure it's consistently under fire. At this range, I'm not even that worried about AT guns. Sure, I'll regret to I'll live to regret those words. Yeah, we are laying waste to that area, that's for sure. And actually, let's take this group, this SDKFC, and this infantry group, and I want to actually go right where that trench is. So I'm actually going to order just a move. Get there as quickly as possible. Uh, with the Panzer IV... I kind of don't want to go all the way across this open terrain with them and, and potentially risk losing them. But look at that. We've got additional Soviets over there. So let's take Schleider's group. Um, looks like a Panzer IV... Uh, an SDK... Or two SDKFCs and a Panzer IV. One of them being a spotter. So... Let's head that way. Let's see how far this defensive line actually stretches. Actually, won't be surprised if this goes all the way along the front there. Yeah, because we're just hitting this area right here. Um, so there could be a bunch of other units in that area. Heck, there could be an entire Soviet army hiding right there. But for once in a battle, the rain is actually favoring me, which, uh, which I love. The enemy just can't see me soon enough. And actually, Schrader there dismounted on his own. I'm glad he did, because I forgot to hit dismount. Yeah, that front doesn't look too lively. Let's get over here. Back to the tree line, and I believe we have spotted another enemy trench, and that's exactly what we spotted. Looks like we might be attacking it from the flank which would be great if that's the case. So let's actually just head over there uh, with Panzer IV and a focus fire on that group. And the same with all of these infantry. I think some of them already have the idea. Pull yourself together. And actually I believe that guy is just a spotter indeed. Is that an FG-42? Oh, I want to get a closer look at that. No, it's a PPSH, actually. Alright, I do like that the guys are opening fire here, but I think we need to do a full-out assault with the infantry. So let's grab them and just go straight for that trench. There we go, boys. Got some guys on the road. Makes me a little nervous, because, of course, that's where people like to hide AT guns. Um, let's just make sure this infantry is focused on them. 
Oh boy. All right, you know what? We're gonna actually swing the tank around. There we go. And just have him focus up the road for now. The Donbass is a rough place to fight and oh, that guy just got blasted. I love this vehicle. SPW25110. If anyone has any, like, information on it, let me know, because that is amazing. And look at that, guys. More Soviet trenches. Or I should say more enemies in the Soviet trenches. But our focus has to be right here for now. Um, there we... Oh, my goodness. Holy hell, was that us or them? That was us. Just burned some of them there. That was incredible. We need to turn this tank around. Don't need the rear of the Panzer IV um, facing away from the enemy. That's not okay. <laughs> Just gonna grab that infantry group. Actually, Beck is already moving into position. Careful, Beck. He's just got a anti-tank rifle. Just took a tremendous hit there. Oh! Oh, the tank is burning. That is... Our tank is toast. I don't know. It had to be an AT gun because it was just a tremendous hit. So we've got another enemy line over there. Look at that. Yep, sure enough, the line extends pretty damn well. So we're going to do a head-on attack. That's right. With the tanks. With the tanks. I'm bringing the tanks along. And sure enough, that line extends all the way out so i'm just going to actually position the sdkfc over here uh, i just want to open fire on that location it's i read somewhere that it takes like 500 rounds to kill a man like pretty much just if you're spraying an area it's going to take 500 rounds before you even score a hit might need to even get a bit closer with the sdkfc there are a bunch of trenches there and i wonder if that's a strategic location it is not well yes and no that nope it's just a bunch of infantry units it's not a strategic location but it's damn important for us to take it out Let's see if any of our infantry are getting hit here they're doing okay with that tank support again this is advancing against a defensive line that is quite strong so I'm uh, nervous, to say the least. See, we've got a bunch of guys in reserve here that I didn't really do much with. Um, no, never mind. That's our offensive line. Um, we could grab Metz, the commander unit that we were keeping back, and that is what I'm going to do. And just go for an all-out assault. Although over here, we're advancing nicely. This trench taken essentially without a fight. A lot of bombardment. Need him looking forward. All right, he is readjusting. And I think we can actually just have Hetzer hold here. not mistaken that slopes up a bit which is going to be to our advantage it's easy to spot the enemy here if there wasn't so much damn smoke i think hetzer is trying to position a shot
amazing. Definitely scored some hits there. Let's just take a look. Enemy MG squad. Yup. Hetzer hit this guy. He may have wounded the other one. Uh, hit one guy back here, just kind of minding his own business. That's an officer. Hetzer, you are a beast. All right, I like that. Um, just gonna see the rest of the line there. So far, it's looking pretty good over here. We've also got some officers out in the open. I really want the focus to be on them, but there is another trench line. So one trench line, two, three, four, five. The guys, they are, they are gonna be stacked in this area. Great time for the offensive to begin. As always, if you enjoyed these Gravity Team Tactics videos, like, comment, subscribe, uh, and please consider uh, becoming a monthly donator um, by hitting the join button. It's $3 a month, that's all I ask, and I don't even see most of that, but it also really helps me uh, with YouTube, even, I think, to be even seen. Uh, because when I, would, when I had um, 21 private members, uh, I was getting the most views. But then again, that's, that's a neither here nor there thing, because maybe... Maybe I was getting the views, be or, or maybe I was getting these subscriptions because of the views I was getting. So it's neither here nor there. That being said, back to the fight, boys, and I'm I'm really gonna push it here, just full on attack with the tank. We're gonna roll over the trenches. These trenches look totally cleared out, although we could be hit by Molotovs for all we know. And I don't want to push Beck forward anymore because um, he is a spotter. Can't grip. There we go. That SDKFC is doing great. That's the of just pop smoke to order the move order but I did want to push him forward so that's exactly what we're going to do we're going to get even closer to the enemy they're under extremely heavy fire by everything basically Look at that, guys. Must be a sniper. Our guy got whacked. Schwacked there. Although, maybe he's going to get back up. Um, maybe he's just recovering from a wound. I sure hope so. Uh, but, man, the Soviet line, line is getting very strong at this point. we are advancing across open terrain here but we've got a lot of artillery support a lot of tank support of course and i'm starting to see the at guns that's the main threat right there guys you see that do you see that at gun i'm gonna see if we can't score a hit on it we're right on the enemy trench there and actually, we've already got a tank back here. Why is he facing away? He's actually being hidden by those bales of hay. I love that. Um, you know what? That's fine with me. I'm going to reposition him a bit. starting to see a lot of officers in that direction guys and that lets me know that perhaps we're getting to the end of the enemy trench line back here or behind it oh that's what i was worried about oh little homer simpson there man 
There's definitely infantry over here. They're throwing grenades at me. Or anti-tank grenades, I should say. So far, it's not working. Uh, let's reverse a bit. And let me take a look at that AT gun. Okay, that's why we didn't get killed. Because a bunch of the crewmen are already dead. Although the officer's still there. Let's see. Pull back here. can't hold back at this point. Every Everybody must go. This is that vehicle I love, the uh, SPW-25. I think it's got to be a 20 or 30 millimeter on the back. It's so nice. Okay. Tank went a little bit too far. <laughs> Trying to take out the AT... There we go. We, we, we did send one tank over the trenches. We said we were going to do it. There he goes. I think he is actually running over, guys. Mike is, gets stuck in the trenches, though. Get him. Get him. That is crazy. Talk about a spearhead, guys. Look at that. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like that. He literally ran over the AT group. Well, he's got what it takes, that's for sure. That's first tank army for you, although he is taking grenades and still a few Soviets alive here. Oh, man. Rough position to be in. What a beast. We did order that to happen, but... I didn't expect him to go all the way across. I don't know what I was expecting. Nonetheless interesting approach. That was an anti-tank grenade. Just missed us. And we are rolling over some more trenches, guys. I'm hoping we can get some enemies to surrender here. It's the other tank that made it very, very far here by the hay bales. The hay bales, I'm telling you, protected this thing. And he might as well just stay put and uh, pepper the enemy with shot. He's banged up, though. There's one ugly tank. Alright, so that infantry assault hasn't really progressed much. I guess I wouldn't expect it to. Um, across open terrain, we've left this area and moved there uh, but I think they are just now starting to approach that area there. In fact, we'll get close. We can see our, our infantry moving forward there. But yeah, they're taking a lot of cover. There's a lot of incoming rounds. Nice. Trying to get that officer is definitely a goal of mine. I just want to make sure we don't get Molotov uh, by getting too close to the trench. So we're going to pull back a bit. Actually gives us some smoke cover too in case of AT. Yep, the men have not advanced an inch and this guy's bleeding heavily. Still trenches there, and again, because of the fog of war, we may not be spotting all of the enemies. There could be a bunch hidden there that we're not seeing. Perfect. 
By the way, that guy is definitely dead. <laughs> the guy that got hit earlier by the sniper. Good old Oswald. He was the best of men. Died doing what he loved. Advancing on the Donbass front. Look at that. Some of the men are really taking the fight to the enemy. One thing that, you know, it's been so long since I've played the game, but one thing I didn't even think of that I can do is actually take some of these guys and just send them into the trenches. Uh, so sort of, you know, re requisition the enemy trenches for our own use. Uh, let's take a look at that left flank, too. We did a lot over here. And I think with the left flank, we are just going to go ahead and try to advance into their flank. So let's try and do something like this. Get behind them over there. Same thing with these guys. We are going to order a full-on assault. Got a lot of infantry there near the tree line that we haven't been using. Perfect. They are moving, and very, very quickly, too. Uh, huge groupings of enemy units right there, by the way. Make sure that gunner is... Nope, he's he's the one that's kaput. That's right. All right, here we go, guys. Infantry is approaching this trench line here. Oof. Trench vision. Trench vision in the comments down below if you want more trench vision. Here we go. Oh boy. Getting some artillery support there too. Beautiful. Here we go. And he's already got a dead comrade right there that made it to the trenches but didn't escape. say anything that was beautiful so we took that trench there that one might also be active right there but I'm gonna let the guys just do their thing stick to trench vision Okay. He's still twitching a bit, but might be his final twitches. Let's take a look over here. All right, we did take some prisoners, um, for sure. Trying to spot them, not seeing them. Um, that might have been the prisoner. <laughs> I shall say no more. Uh, and actually, we're starting to see some officers there in that tree line as we're doing this um, flanking approach. So for all we know, we might get ambushed there on the road. They might have set up some positions. Not going to worry about it too much, but nonetheless, something to think about. I don't know why this Panzer IV is all the way back here. Let's push. Love that armored spearhead. It continues, boys.
just love the way that, that it, it, it's advancing with the infantry supporting it, uh, making sure there's no Soviets hiding over here. He just ate it. Let's take a look at that position. Are they just out in the open or could be more trenches for all we know. The fog of war could be hiding some of them. But it looks like the enemy over here is mostly taking cover. I'm hoping it's a victory, but look at that. We got guys behind us? What? Oh, you got to be kidding me, man. All right, we're going to take some of these guys, head over here, because we're getting flanked. That's insane. It's going to take them a while to make it here, but it just goes to show how determined the enemy is in this battle. Ooh. That was a little too close for comfort. And that gunner is also down. A lot of our SD, SDKFC gunners have been killed. Enemy is dropping heavy already on us. Get Mets out of here. Several enemy AT guns there. I think we're not even scratching the surface of the enemy defensive lines. Of course, this is just like one of four. But even back there, they've got so many AT guns. They could have another set of trenches, honestly. Oh boy. Panzer IV just took some hits from some Molotovs. We could reverse. Let's try it. Sorry, not Panzer IV. It's a Panther. Definitely don't want to lose this guy. Is it a panther or a tiger? This is how you can tell I don't know my tanks. One damn bit. I know the difference between a panzer three and a panzer four. That, that's about it. He is beat up too, but still alive. I like that we can order and act with caution order, but we're we're not acting with caution right now, that's for sure. Just continuing continuing this offensive. The men can rest eventually, but for now we desperately need them. Let's take a look at that flanking maneuver. Um I do see some enemies, but nothing to really write home about.
In fact, I think I'm going to take him and send him... Eh, he's not moving. He does not want to move. He might be pretty badly hurt or just a bit shaken. Let's try again. Okay. And just attack the enemy right there. many Soviets here, man. Yeah, he is rattled. That entire crew is just in a state of shock at the moment. This KFC is missing its gunner. Not much we're going to do about that. That officer is a beast with the rifle. Look at that. Taking the fight to us. Supporting his men. I like it. Oh! Enemy stopped that advance pretty well. So the AK STKFC tried to escape. No luck for him. The driver is still alive, though. At least we kept a lot of STKFC drivers. I would hate to have the job as a gunner for one of those SDKFCs. They don't seem safe. The gunner role, I mean. All right, that spearhead is looking more and more like a spearhead. And again, I think we'll just hold, try to pepper the enemy with shot, keep them down if we can. And this makes it easier for future approaches. If you guys want to see a tank battle next time, let me know in the comments. Um, if you want to see infantry, whatever you prefer. I really like to get a sense of like what people enjoy watching. Uh, me personally, I'm a big infantry guy. I play the Croatian campaign where it's just like exclusively infantry. Um, but I also like the tank battles. I like battles like this one where we're just having a huge mix of everything basically. Although no enemy armor, you know, it's a it's just a proper defensive line is what this is. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, we're responding to that flank attack. Doing okay, actually. I don't know how they did that, but that was uh, interesting. <laughs> Alright, getting a little close to the enemy here, but advancing well. You can see, though, a, a few of them here, although not sure if they're fully stocked trenches or if there's just a few stragglers. I don't want to lose any more gunners, though, so let's keep this guy right there. Just have him uh, do some overwatch. Sure enough, he spotted some enemies in the tree line. In fact, it's an entirely new trench system dug into the dirt here. Some guys there, yep. Hoping this is the Soviets making their retreat, but not if that officer has anything to say about it. Well, that's Mena. There's our gun. That's tough. I just want him to clear this area, and then I'm going to stop his vehicle. Oh, he's already taking shots. Too late. All right, just turn this way, Vestal. Just turn that way, man. Same thing with this guy. We're going to stop right here. What is he doing? 
Oh boy. That's our incendiary grenades. Just hit the officer, man. That's what he gets. We did it for Danzig. He got killed over here behind the uh, behind the machine gun. Sure enough, our men are approaching this area very well, I think. Wish this guy would get down and just lay down some cover fire. That was beautiful. Don't like the driving going on right now, but... Take Pinter, just just Pinter. Send him over there. Just attack this this area from all fronts. I mean, we're definitely not not going to be without casualties because a lot of our infantry just advancing here have taken hits. Enemies well hidden, well entrenched. We don't get out of this without losses, as, as you can see. Oh, he is badly hurt. Yep, we've got Soviets hiding over there in the tree line. Really good positioning. Maybe Vestkov just goes over this way. That officer is tucking tail to save his life. Let's go towards these officers over here with just that tank. I wish we could give him some SDKFC support, but all our gunners are down. Um, so, you know, the vehicles are kind of useless. They can attract enemy fire, I guess, but these infantry, they've got to move up on their own. And they're doing a great job of it, but they're losing a lot of men in the process. Good hit. Actually, I'm just going to let him do his thing. I'm not even going to order him. Uh, this guy, however, I want him firing at those officers. One thing I dislike about Graviteam Tactics is the... Well, the UI, number one, but the, um, the AI... The AI, the... Your AI, like your unit AI, can be absolutely ridiculous sometimes. Um, part of it is because the orders, so like um, in certain situations, your men can't receive orders immediately, which I like. But a lot of times it's just like bad AI. Like why would the tank have the turret turned away? You know what I mean? Just things like that could be worked on uh, on a future Graviton Tactics.
Hope you guys enjoy these long form battles. Um, they take a lot more editing, uh, obviously, than standard videos, and they don't get as appreciated by YouTube. Um, but I, you know, I didn't expect this battle to take this long, um, but I can't stop fighting. I've got to continue, got to try to make it through. Actually, we do have one gunner still alive. Turn him that way. I think the armored spearhead has definitely slowed. Um, can only push so hard. We're going to have to get some additional infantry at some point because I think we've lost a lot of men to get some replacements. But in terms of armor, I think we only had that one or two tanks lost. Um, maybe just one. Or was he just... No, he wasn't lost. He was just burned up badly. Um, there's something was wrong with the crew. But he might make it through. We're going to send the Panther forward. Yeah, so maybe some more men over there by the tree line. Here's the crazy part of this, right? Take a look. So this is the part of the battlefield we're fighting over um, and have been fighting on over this entire time. Look at how much is left, uh, as well as another Soviet defensive point. Um, like I said, this is only the first ring of defenses, so they're going to have a lot. Um, and I'm starting to consider the possibility of, um, you know, going ahead and... Uh, Doing a ceasefire, something like that. In fact, I'm going to take a look here. Have they offered one? I don't think so, no. From what I can see, they have not. And we're doing fine on the attack, so at the same time, I might keep it going. Um, but our men are, without a doubt, tired. However, we'll make this their one final push uh, before they rest. Um, and if you want to see some future battles in the Donbass, let me know, and we'll come back for the follow-up. One of them just got hit, man. Had to be some shrapnel. Nice. Lutwitz the Tiger is doing great, just hanging out over here. Haven't received any sort of anti-tank rounds. Same over here with this Panzer III. Spotted something over there. I hate when they turn like that. Like, see, that's what I'm talking about with the AI. Like, why would he do that? Turn back around. All right, another tiger here, Pister. going to take a look along the line there. I mean, they could be anywhere in mass, but I'm guessing that wooded area, so I'm going to approach. And I do see two officers, so we're going to just push forward with Pitzer. Let's see how the infantry assault is going. Again, they are pushing forward. Um, that, that may be why we're spotting them so much, because our infantry is a lot, you know, it's a lot easier for the infantry to spot the enemy than it is for our tanks to spot them. And we might be actually spotting them at this point. Helzer is finally getting shots on target. That would be the natural point to defend. Of 
course, you know, like a wooded area like this. So we're just going to keep our focus here for now. I don't even know if he's operational anymore. Seems it. Yeah. From from what I can tell here, he's okay. Just roughed up. Oh! Alright, had a little... Got a little snug up on the uh, AT gun. You know what? It's a decent position anyway. Let's hold here and just fire. Again, he's... Not sure why he's turned this way. There we go. And look at that, guys. It looks like the battle is finally ending. I believe the enemy is going to be retreating. Um, again, they won't retreat from the entire battlefield. They'll simply fall back to defense line number two... But I believe we could call it a successful taking of the defensive area. You know, all these trenches, of course, that were enemy trenches before. Some have been just totally abandoned. Although we did turn on Fog of War. So I guess if we're not turned in that direction, we're not going to see many uh, casualties. But yeah, it looks like the enemy is going to be retreating. Alright, first armored spearhead was a success. I really am more curious about our casualties uh, than anything else. I want to see how many men we lost on the assault. Uh, we had to have lost a lot of infantry. We lost a lot of SDKFC gunners and crew. Um, obviously, we're going to have to replace them. Even over here, as an example. Two of those on that damn vehicle that I know nothing about but really want to learn about. Basically, it looks like a 20 mil strapped, or like a 30 mil even, strapped on the back of uh, an SDKFC. We never used a Bader over here. There was We had an additional group of tanks. Although, to be fair, we really didn't need it. And uh, we can use that for future battles when the Soviets actually send a tank army our way. Okay. So, guys, 24 killed, 35 um, heavily wounded. On the Soviet side, 92 killed, 36 heavily wounded, 181 missing. These are likely captures or just routes. So, basically, they run in terror. Uh, but, again, 24, I would say not bad, all things considered. Um, let's see what Gravity Team's going to tell us in terms of a victory or defeat. It might tell us a, a defeat. That's just the way this game is sometimes. Um, I believe it is a victory. Any case, guys, thank you so much for watching the Donbass Offensive. I hope I'll catch you on the next Gravity Team video. I've really been, been enjoying doing these, but they take a lot of work editing-wise. So please do try to support me on it, um, and I appreciate it. Take care. Catch you on the next one.